when calculating the most difficult time problems, it's going to be necessary to move not only days but hours and to avoid a common pitfall that we've gathered in math through years and years of carrying numbers when we add and have a number that comes up to greater than 10. I've sort of made up a problem that you won't likely see, but it will give you the most extreme example. If at 23, 59 hours, you have 325 milliliters remaining, infusing at 41 milliliters an hour, what time will your next bag be needed? The toolbox contains the time this was verified, the volume in the bag, the flow rate, and the question. To begin, we put together the flow rate of 41 milliliters in one hour to say, at this rate, how long will it take for 325 milliliters to go in? Again, once we solve for x hours, the right-hand side of the decimal represents percentage of time, not actual time. This would mean 7 hours and 926, which we would take round to 0.93 and multiply by 6 to figure out this is 55.8 minutes. Rounded, this would be 7 hours and 56 minutes of flow time. Now the trick comes in combining those times to figure out what you have your next day. So I'm going to start with two lines because I want to separate my hours and minutes so that I don't get these mixed. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my hour column first so that I don't run into that pitfall of carrying. So I have 30 hours. In the minutes column, I would carry my 1 here, but when 5 and 5 and 1 make 11, if I put my 1 here and carry my other 1, I've carried minutes into the hour column. So everything minutes must stay on the minutes side. To continue sorting this out, I want to first move my hour by subtracting 60 minutes and adding one hour. This moves my hour to my hour column and leaves my minutes with less than an hour. I have 55 minutes left in the minute column now and now 31 hours. Now I can move my day by subtracting the 2400 hours in a day to get the exact time the next day, which would be 0755 hours or 7.55 a.m.